Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Today, Friday, the 16th of October. And today I have to overwinter some of my pepper plants because tonight it's supposed to be in the 30s and that is not gonna be good. Um, if I don't take it in, I, it eventually it'll die. So um, there's, as you can tell, these are my pepper plants and some of them still have flowers on them. Some of them still have, the leaves are still green, but sadly some of them are turning uh, kind of yellow now, which is not a good sign. Um, on this branch right here, this tree right here, it is, like I said, it's turning yellow, but the peppers are still red. I want to be able to bring some home, some inside the house so that they are ready for next year. Um, I just, I, I did save some seeds for next year, but I, I figure it's better for me if I, if I'm able to dig them out and overwinter them and put them in my house next year when I transplant them, the plants is already mature and they are adult. I don't have to start fresh with seedlings anymore. And then once you start with seeds, they're gonna grow as seedlings. And then I'm gonna have to wait until they mature up and then produce peppers. That's gonna be like a couple, two, three months for me to wait for them to produce peppers. And by the time they're producing peppers, it's already, you know, I didn't really get to enjoy much and then fall hits again. So to prevent that, I want to dig a few out, my favorite ones, and then, um, and then uh, put them in uh, in a pot and overwinter them. All right, so here is one of them that I want to dig out. Ira, before I uh, dig it out, I wanna clip out, take all the peppers out first. So I have four habanero plants, I mean, uh, peppers here, sorry, four habanero, habanero peppers, and then the plants are still good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dig it out. So I'm just going to make circles around this area right here. And I'm going to put my the gloves on. See, it's out from the ground now. See, bigger root ball. It is okay. I'm not damaging uh, uh, very much at all. It's still intact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up a little bit, shake it off, see, that's a root right here, and I have my soil and my pots ready, I'm going to put it in a pot, just like that, make sure the root's down, in, the most important thing is to bury the roots all the way, there goes the plane again. <laughs> Alright guys, so the root is covered basically and I'm going to push it in a little bit and then add some more soil. Okay, so I have my soil and I have my uh, fertilizer in here already. I'm just going to scoop it up and kind of fill it in just like so. Okay, you guys so now I'm gonna I have cinnamon cinnamon ground cinnamon here and book my young and it yum yum your dam dam at any you don't take them up a yukni the jet maintain it's gonna be in the 30s so came at young I dam at any slap day young high but yum dog my be day hey that look no crunk at home day your job definitely my be um jump from the jet high now nay ອັນເປັນໄຫຕເຮົາເຕຄາຫນາເວຈຶດຫຼືຖ້າກັດປົນເລື່ອງອໍໃຫ້ຈຶດຊູສະຫຼະກາຍເອີ່ອຊ່
Sprinkle a spoonful of ground cinnamon, add it into my soil all over my pot. And I will tell you why I put ground cinnamon in, in my soil. I'll mix the ground cinnamon. So when we when we overwinterize, overwinter our plants and bring them in, it's important to have good soil and then also add cinnamon inside on with the uh, dirt, just because cinnamon is a very good antifungal. It kills fungals, fungi. And fungi. I'm sorry, and the spores in the fungi spores in the soil and it will also help prevent damping diseases uh, that can actually kill the plant because you know we just transplanted it so that's why it's important to add cinnamon ground cinnamon into the uh, the soil and mix it well that way it will also encourage the stem to produce more stems and it will help to prevent fungi that can cause disease as well so this is the reason why i added cinnamon ground cinnamon into the plants so this is the first plant and seems like the ground is mixing well right now I'm gonna push it in and then after this I will basically prune it out a little bit so that it's not too big and bushy. Okay. Alright guys, so it's kind of sad because <laughs> the plant is still producing peppers, but I have no choice. If I don't take it inside, it's gonna die. So what I will do is I will prune it. I'll look for the main stem. So this is the main stem right here. And then there's a V shape, like a little V that breaks off, forming new branches. So I'm gonna cut. So you, what I will do is I, I can't cut under it because I want more branches to come out for spring. So here's the leaf note right here. So if, if you guys are new to planting, you have to recognize what the uh, leaf note is. This is the leaf note. And then this is also a leaf note. Leaf note is where the leaf is coming out from. New leaves are coming out from the stem. So when I cut, I don't want to cut under the leaf note. I need to cut above the leaf note. So I need to cut above the leaf note. Okay, so when I cut it, you grow me grow down thom mui mao. You grow down thom mui mao. Hey, you grow make bite chipi chăng á? Bite chipi chăng? Hey, you grow thang thang bia thang. Oh, yeah, bao sum to. You grow thang. Hey, ta you cut bia lo thang lang ai. So I'm gonna trim this off just like that. See? And it like make bite mao. Cut mui mao. Sắp đến cái cắt đại tử stem cut the leaf off as well and this is another leaf note so I'm just gonna cut that see cut chow cut that off I'm gonna go with this one this is a leaf a leaf note right here see how how there's a new new leaf coming out new leaves right here that's leaf note it's coming out from it so I'm gonna cut above it Cut below, cut below thang, thang mới chơi nè. Cut below thang mới chơi nè, cái này nè. Cut it off, cut it off. Lắc nè, cắt đấy. Cut the leaf also because it will eventually fall off on its own because it is dramatically shocked already when I pull it off from the ground. So I need to make another stem right here, and then this is a leaf note. 
gonna cut it off right there. See, that's good. Banhai. So there's one here. I think that should be done. That's good enough. right here I'm gonna be back here because I'm just gonna uh, overwinter this one right here and I'm gonna join it with this pot same concept okay dun -dun -dun! is that cute so all that peppers I'm gonna have to pick all my peppers again so what I will do is the same thing I'm gonna cut find that V and then cut on top of the uh, leaf node. I think that's how you say it. Leaf node, node, leaf node, something like that. Where the new leaves are coming out. Excuse me, I'm still learning English. It's kind of hard. So I'll just cut that off. I'm just gonna cut that off as well. So this should be good. There. Okay, so, and then um, these right here, I'm just gonna uh, harvest the peppers later on. So, here's my soil, it's ready. So, oops, oh, it's heavy. Uh, I'm gonna pour it in a little bit just to fill it up, just like that. sure it's nice and even turn this up just like that you know the cool thing when you transplant your plant that it is not hot because the heat will basically hurt the roots so I am picking a good day to transplant my my plants overwinter them make sure that the roots are all in nice and easy like that let it stand. Same thing with this one. I just kind of dig it. Plants are very hard to kill, you know, unless you don't water them. But if you continue to water them and put them, give them sunlight or some kind of a heating lamp or something, they will survive. It'll come back. So I need more soil. I'll be right back. All right, so fill it in like that. Make sure it is nice and full. Now, I'm gonna try to squeeze one more plant in here in this area just because I have the ability to put one put one more in oh it smells so good I feel like I want pumpkin pie <laughs> okay here's the roots so okay and then aloni uh sorry tuk you took it out. I'm gonna water it. Okay, now I'm gonna water it. Try to clear. I uh, I lao. The I be sam day tito. Make sure that the ground is wet after you transplant it. It's important to give water because the roots is in shock right now. Not be um, you tien via be tu I be um, tu I be um. <laughs> I don't know. So the roots is in shock right now. So we need to let's give it extra water. Okay, so I think that is good enough. First water is always good water. All right, guys. So this is how I over. Uh, this is how I overwinter my plants, and 
not just pepper plants i have eggplant that i'm gonna do and then i also have my thyme my herbs my oregano my um other plants <laughs> So I have my other plants that I'm going to do the same thing. I will basically overwinter them by digging them out from the ground and then transplant it into the pot and then put it in where it's important to put it in. If you can find windows that has the south facing where there's lots of sunlight coming in to the room, that's best. That's the best place for you to put your um, your plants in so it's because they, they, they are still getting sunlight coming in. Um, but if you don't have it, you could just put it next to any window that has some sunlight coming in. This should be fine. Or if not, if you decide to put it in a garage or in the basement, make sure you have is this called um, what's it called, babe? Um, the heating lamp, where you can basically put it under the lamp, and then the lamp will basically give heat into the plants, and then the plants will continue to grow instead of dying in the cold or whatever. But um, so yeah, uh, this is what I do. Uh, I have more plants that I'm gonna transplant or overwintering and then bring it in. So that's it, I'm doing the same method. I also, I will put continue to put more cinnamon into the uh, pots that I am finishing up uh, later on, but that's all I do. So, all right guys, please like, share and subscribe. And if you're new, please support as well. Comment below uh, what you think or if my method is right or how do you like it or ways that I can improve my, my channel and um, ways to, to bring plants in, easier ways to, to bring plants into the house for next year. Um, also, I will do an, an update next spring. <laughs> Hopefully it lives. Like I said, this is my first year in Maryland and this is my first year actually bringing uh, overwintering my plants uh, inside for next spring so give me luck uh, wish me luck and uh, if it does and if it survives I will also do a follow-up video on my pepper plants and we go from there okay guys that's it bye thank you I was able to harvest about um, almost a uh, I would say half a bucket full of peppers so